Hey everyone, it's John from Wire. In this video, we're going to talk about image compression and optimization for making your web pages load faster and reducing the strain on your web server. So, in this example, I've took, taken a photo of my dog, and I've used this as an example because I took it with a very good camera, so it's going to be a really high quality picture. And you'll notice in Photoshop, the photo is 51, almost 52 megabytes. And this is a massive photo. So if I were to try and upload this to my WordPress website, um, the upload would fail because my maximum upload size is around 25 megabytes. And it would also take forever for someone to load on a web page. Because every single time they try to load that web page and this photo is on it, the web browser is going to send 51 megabytes back and forth. So that's no good. And it's going to make your website load really, really small. So what you can do, really really slow, excuse me. So what you can do is you can export this photo in Photoshop and it's going to go and compress the photo without really losing any quality so that you can export it as a smaller size. So in order to do this, go to File, Export, and then Export As. And you'll notice in this window it gives you the option over here to choose your format. I usually do either PNG or JPEG. Um, if you use something like GIF, it's going to change your photo to a smaller size usually, but it's also going to take away some of the quality. So if you'll notice, even Photoshop has difficulty managing this file because it's so massive. So as soon as it's done loading everything, I'm going to show you how small it got. Okay, so you see when I changed it to PNG, the file size went way down. So if I were to set this at 100% scale, what it came in as, um, the file format is still going to be a little bit big. So in this situation, especially with dealing with um, images that are going to be going online, there's really no situation that you would need it to be 5,000 pixels as a width. Because no image or no screen is going to be that big unless it's like on a TV or something. So you'll notice, and well, that's just got really big. Right, so you'll notice when I set it back to its original size, it got really big again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset this image size to something a lot more manageable. And usually if I'm going to do a huge header image or it's going to go as a background of a website or anything that needs to be a really large size, I usually put it at 1500 because the image will scale eventually and you never have to have it really above this if you're trying to sacrifice your loading time. So I'm going to click on export all. I'm going to not export it to the trash. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the differences here. So this is the original photo. And then this is the modified photo. So you'll notice as I switch back and forth, uh, there really is no noticeable difference between the two. Um, I'm switching back between both of them, and I can't really tell a difference. But I know for a fact that this photo is a lot smaller in terms of size compared to this one. So once you've exported it like that, you can go ahead and feel free to upload that to your web server now because now it's going to be a lot more manageable. Another thing you can do if you have WordPress is you can install this plugin called WP Smush and it's going to compress your image if you don't have Photoshop. Keep in mind though, word of warning, um, unless you have the premium version of this plugin, it'll only support image sizes below a megabyte. So if you have a photo like the one we just dealt with, you're not going to be able to smush it using that plugin. I hope this helped. Uh, if you have any other questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. And I hope you have a great day. Take care.